Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back to Powerhouse. We're always talking about how important insulation is. It is vital in making your home more energy efficient. Today, we're at a new home under construction where they're installing an unusual type of insulation. Let's go in and check it out. Hi, Don. Good morning, Pete. Thanks for coming. This is Don Otto. He's the general contractor for this house. And Don, what are you using to insulate this house? We're using sprayed polyurethane insulation. Don, how long has this product been around? It's been around for 20 years, but it's been used primarily commercially, uh, also in agricultural buildings, uh, things like confinement buildings. But the spray-on you can use all over the house. We can use a, the polyurethane insulation anywhere we need insulation in the house at all, in the ceiling, in the walls, basement, anywhere. It's going to end up being a nice thermal cap on the top of the house, and it'll be sealed to the walls. Just by definition, everything under the insulation is a heated space. Now, that gives us an advantage. If the heating contractor wanted to run air ducts through the attic, he, now he doesn't have to insulate any of those air ducts. It's all in a conditioned space. Down with insulation, we're always concerned about the R value. Mm -hmm. How does spray-on insulation compare with fiberglass bat insulation? Sprayed polyurethane foam has about two to three times the insulation value per inch that traditional insulation like fiberglass does. It also comes with a price tag of about two to three times per inch, but it has quite a few other advantages as well. It seals up air leaks. It's its own air barrier, so we don't have to use a separate air barrier on the outside like house wrap. On the inside, it's its own vapor barrier. It's sprayed on in a thickness that does not allow vapor to come through, so we can eliminate the vapor barrier on the inside. Also, when we spray it directly on the underside of, of the decking, now there is actually nothing to vent. There is no attic space to vent because we've sealed that insulation right up to the underside of the roof. That means that we don't have to provide soffit vents. We don't have to provide ridge vents on the roof. But we really have to remember that this is only half of a total system. If we go ahead and seal up the entire envelope so it's very, very tight, and if we don't pay attention to the amount of fresh air that the occupants need to breathe, we've only gone halfway. It's really critical, it's very important that everybody understands that people living in the house still need to breathe fresh air. The way that we're, that we're bringing in fresh air in this house is with a mechanical ventilation system. As we watch the process, it's kind of a high-tech process because he's in a, a suit and, mm -hmm. and uh, tell us a little bit about the process, the application process. It's a two-component material. It's the, it's the actual urethane material coming out of one barrel being mixed with the blowing agent in another barrel and then there's a compressor in the van that forces the whole thing out and it comes out from the nozzle under a lot of high pressure but it comes out in a spray mist and each one of these mist droplets expands. It's an extremely sticky material. By the time they, they hit the wall or they, or they hit the ceiling, they're almost fully expanded. The material dries actually in about two to three seconds after it comes out of the gun. Going back to the cost, uh, as you said, it's uh, several times more expensive with the spray on insulation, mm -hmm. but you can, recur or you, you can get that savings back in terms of uh, other things that you don't have to spend in terms of the house. You also mentioned uh, go back to four inch studs, is that what you were saying? Uh, right. If, if we used a conventional insulation, to get roughly an R20, we'd have to use a two by six stud. Urethane insulation can give us the same R factor in, a, in between two and three inches. That means now that, we, that instead of building the house with two by six studs, we can shrink the lumber size down to a two by four stud, and that saves money. Uh, Don, let's talk about application process. Mm -hmm. How long for this house, which is how many square feet? This, he's gonna be uh, insulating about th three floors, about 3,000 square feet and uh, he should be done in about three and a half hours. All right, Don Otto, our general contractor for this house. Don, thanks for sharing that information. Thanks for coming, Pete.